Hey guys, you know me, Jeff the Zoo Guy, and today I want to introduce you to an animal that not many people even know exist. In fact, it wasn't even discovered until the early 1900s. It's a pygmy hippopotamus, and today you're in for a treat because I have a baby pygmy hippopotamus. Would that be a pygmy, pygmy hippopotamus? I don't know. But anyway, take a look at how cute this thing is. It looks like a little slug. Now right now his back is to you because he's sleeping, but still you can just see how small this guy really is. Now the pygmy hippopotamus is just that. It's a hippo that has essentially been shrunk. And what's funny is when the first people that discovered this hippo in modern science saw it, they actually thought they were looking at a hippopotamus that had some defects from birth but come to find out it was a completely new species. And so this is just a hippopotamus that doesn't have many hippopotamus muscles. All right, let's move on. Now, the cool thing about hippos is that hippos, they're obviously normally very large. And you think of hippos, the big ones you're thinking of, they're five, 6,000 pounds. These little guys, they top out at maybe four to 500 pounds, so obviously a lot smaller. Now here at the zoo, when I'm around hippos, everybody always asks me, why are your hippos bleeding? Well, listen, when you look at a hippo, you might see what looks like blood on them, but it's not blood. They have something that they secrete out of their body called blood sweat. What that is, it's not sweat, it's not blood, it's just an alkaline solution that seeps out of the pores in their, bo in their body. And what it does, it serves as an antiseptic, and it also serves as a natural sunblock. Now here in Florida, that's great, and in Africa, sun is pretty powerful too, so you need the sunblock because even hippos like that can fall victim to sunburn, so just keep that in mind. Now when you look at a hippopotamus, they probably look pretty cute to you, but remember, they're not as cute as they look. In fact, hippopotamus in Africa kill a lot of people every year. You're talking about a dangerous animal. Now the pygmies, well, they're still pretty dangerous, but yeah, I admit they're pretty cute, especially when it comes to the baby. So if you want to see a hippo, but you don't want to have to travel to the remote sections of the Ituri Forest of Africa, well, come on to Tampa's Lowry Park Zoo because we have them right here, including this incredible baby. Check him out. He's adorable. Until then, you know me. I'm Jeff the Zoo Guy, and I will see you at the zoo.